I have just concluded the sixth uh, annual YG Yashasvi lecture. And while talking of uh, his contributions and his thought processes, one of the concepts which I drew out was the concept of andragogy. And I have been asked to elaborate how andragogy distinguishes itself from pedagogy and what should be the contents and approach to andragogy. Much can be said, but I'd like to attempt a brief answer to suit your span of concentration and time of listening. And uh, I'd like to mention that the difference between pedagogy and andragogy is rooted in our understanding of pediatrics and adulthood. Pediatrics or pedagogy or anything to do with child issues is rooted in the classical concept of pediatrics which means child related issues and uh, we administer to the infant a special kind of medicine which has to do with its tolerance level we do not talk to an adult as we talk to a child because with a child the concepts are not yet formed the child is more amenable to be directed the adult however is more independent minded and does not accept anything unless what is being said to him is uh, tested against his own experience which makes adult learning a entirely different kettle of fish from child learning and to call adult learning as something which has to follow a pedagogy is a contradiction in terms. You cannot communicate to an adult as you communicate to a child is a proposition which I have already shared with you. Hence, the method of talking to adults should be termed as andragogy and not pedagogy. That is the first correction to be built into the system. The second is to understand that the method will involve annotation, producing evidence, convincing the other person with reference to his own concepts and if need be values. Otherwise, the message goes beyond him and it flows over the nest, does not home in, which explains why so many adult learning experiences are disastrous because the methodology has not been chosen well. People who deal with adult learning may well keep this in mind. Thank you for your attention.